the first aquarium exposition. <laughs> the forecast for this afternoon is intermittent entertainment between intermittent showers. Somebody was saying this was the second largest city in New York. There's been no police. There's been no trouble. If you check the statistics out, you'll find that these people have lived, 300 plus thousand people have lived together peacefully, loving each other, feeling for each other, want, needing each other, and, and wanting to make this experience this. What? What are they doing? They're dropping dry, they're dropping flowers and dry clothes out of a helicopter. You said, you said a moment ago that this wasn't the end of this festival, that this was a beginning. What do you mean, a beginning? Well, well, look at it. <laughs> this is the beginning of this kind of thing. Oh, this kind of thing? We have to see Jab here, Jab, this culture and this generation, away from the old culture and the older generation, you know? And you see how they function on their own, without cops, without guns, without clubs, without hats. Everybody pulls together and everybody helps each other, and it works. It's been working since we got here, and it's going to continue working. No matter what happens when they go back to the city, this thing has happened, and it proves that it can happen. It was, that's just that's what it's all about, you know. That's the whole thing right there. Was this? Was this? Uh, Mr. Cornfield, was this a, a financial success from the point of view of the fellows who put it on? Sort of a financial disaster. A financial disaster. <laughs> Why do you say that? We just open the gates and let everybody in. It's a free festival. It's a free festival paid for by the people who put up the money, uh, the people that are going to have to pay it back. <laughs> um, paid for by the people, the people who bought the tickets. The 200,000 people, of which probably I don't know how many of them even got here. Uh, no, this was paid for by, by all the people that brought it, by all the people that had the thoughts that put it to the point to get us in a position to just be a, to just be a tool like... A, a vehicle like everybody else just to get it to this point. You're in the red. Oh, the company? Oh, financially? If you, it's hard to think on those terms when you're talking about something like this. Uh, financially, this is a disaster. But you, but you look so happy. I'm very look happy. what you got there, man. You couldn't buy that for anything. Sure. This is really beautiful, right? These people are communicating with each other. That, that rarely happens anywhere anymore. Right. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with tangible things. You know, like, you know, you have to realize the turnaround that I've gone through in the last, in the last three days, in the last three million years, you know, that I, meaning us, all of us. What do you mean the turnabout in the last three days? To, just to see, just to really realize what's really important. What's really important, the fact that, that if we can't all live together and be happy, if you have to be afraid to walk out in the street, if you have to be af afraid to smile at somebody, right? Well, what, what, what kind of a way is that to go through this life?